Hey everyone, I'm Logan Nicholson, this is Australian Astronomy, and today I'm going to be pouring a pitch lap for mirror making. Here's pitch. Pitch is a very deformable, tar-like substance that is used for polishing glass. In this case, we use it for polishing our telescope mirrors. So the pitch isn't very deformable, Actually, it's actually a liquid instead of a solid. It just flows extremely slowly. So this is useful for conforming to the mirror exactly and changing when the mirror profile changes. Pitch actually makes the surface of the glass kind of flow and also digs it out at the same time to create a really nice and smooth polished effect. So usually what we'd do is we'd take the finely ground mirror from 9 or 5 micron and then pour a pitch lap and then start polishing until it turns clear. And then after that you can perform the figuring operation which is changing the mirror's state from a sphere to a parabola. So on to the pitch lap pouring process. 6 inch F3 mirror, fine ground out to 9 micron, paper for covering the mirror, a plaster disc that's been sealed with paint. This is made of dental plaster, a special type of hardened plaster, a mould for pouring the pitch onto, and the pitch itself. This isn't the standard pitch you'd normally see, this is actually Aculap, which is a Synth synthetic replacement for pitch and then I have cerium oxide a solution of cerium oxide in this bottle so what I'm going to be doing is heating this pitch pouring it and then pouring it onto this base so then I can polish out and figure my 6 inch F3 mirror. creates the channels necessary for the pitch uh, the cerium oxide to flow inside of the so I put the paper down onto the mirror and then I might just move this over a bit. So I've put the paper down on the mirror like so. And now I'm going to place the mold down onto the mirror. And I've got to make sure that it uh, is pressed down into the curve of the mirror. So I'll be right back. Burn on low and start heating up my acula. This softens it so it can run like a liquid. I then pour that onto here and then quickly put the plaster base down and press it. To heat this on very low heat so you don't damage it. Because it can go so uh, it can change its state if it's boiled too quickly. And then I'm going to stir that with this stick until it's a thick viscous liquid. A minute and this is already becoming liquid pretty quickly. Pretty much done. The last solid part is pretty much dissolved. So now it's time to pour it. I just hope this isn't too hot to pick up with the tea towel. Right. Okay, so I'm picking it up now. So now, get my plaster disc and center it. It's about right. 
and then push. At the moment, it's like sort of toffee consistency. Nine kilogram counterweight, pressing that down now. So I've just got to check the consist consistency of the pitch. It's still nice and squishy so it's going to be probably 10-15 eh, minutes till that dries till that uh, hardens enough time to take the weight off and then flip this over and then get the tool out of the mold so I'll start with trying to get some of these excess bits off so this might be a while but at this point when it's cooled enough they just crack straight off like so So let's flip this over. It's time to peel this off. Let's hope that it doesn't all come off and that the adhesion to the disc is all right. Beautiful. The only thing I might be concerned about is that there's no pitch in between the tiles, so I think I will have to fill that in. I'll get this off because I'm doing this one-handed and it's a bit tricky. What it looks like just out of the mold. It's a bit gooey, which I'm a bit concerned about because I haven't used this exact mold before but let's hope it turns out all right I'm going to now shake up my Xerox get my Xerox out put it on the mirror Just rub that around And we now put the pitch lap, put the mirror onto the pitch lap and see how well the contact is. The contact is really terrible. It was actually rocking around before. I need to knock some of these edge bits off that are making the contact just with the knife like this
Let's give that a shot. Take the mirror. Pop it down. Contact is better, but I still need to press it down so that the pitch will flow and then conform to the shape of the mirror better. So what this is usually done by is heating up the pitch. So I'll get that done. But I think I first need to seal this so it doesn't get waterlogged and damaged. Full of hot water, almost boiling because this is the first time pressing it into shape. I'm basically gonna put this into the water so it heats up the pitch. Pressing down, uh, that'll be a few minutes until it's pressed into the right shape. So that's pretty much it for now. I might come back tomorrow because it's almost 10 o'clock and show you the actual polishing process. See ya. Next day, I've got this set up on my desk and it's ready to start polishing. So this is basically the process. Just go back and forth. It's still a bit of a, the reason why it jumps around is because the contact is still not exactly perfect. So because I'm working on my desk, I need to rotate this after I get to a certain point. Put it back in its little holder. Turn the mirror. Now I can keep working on it. So eventually the mirror will turn completely clear. Turn. Keep going. 